Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a magnetic field. You should then be able to describe how to plot the magnetic field pattern of a magnet. And finally you should be able to describe the evidence that the Earth's core is magnetic. In the last video we saw that magnets are either permanent or induced. A permanent magnet always has a magnetic field. And I'm showing you here the magnetic field around a bar magnet. An induced magnet is a material that becomes a magnet when it's placed in a magnetic field. Now a key fact that you have to learn is that there are four types of magnetic material. These are iron, steel, which is an alloy of iron, cobalt and nickel. All four of these materials can be made into a permanent magnet or an induced magnet. Okay, so in this video we're looking at magnetic fields. A magnetic field is a region around a magnet where a force acts on another magnet or on a magnetic material. If we place a magnetic material such as iron into this field, then it will experience a force of attraction towards the magnet. So here we're placing a magnetic material into the field, for example a piece of iron. As you can see the piece of iron now becomes an induced magnet. This is now attracted to the permanent magnet. Now the strength of the magnetic field depends on the distance from the magnet. So here's another piece of iron, but this one is further from the magnet. As you can see, the iron still experiences a force of attraction towards the magnet. However, the force of attraction now is smaller than the force experienced closer to the magnet. The field is also strongest at the poles of the magnet. Okay, so as we've said, the magnetic field is a region around the magnet where a force acts on another magnet or a magnetic material. Now the direction of a magnetic field can be found using a compass. A magnetic compass, such as this one, contains a small bar magnet. If we place a compass near a bar magnet, then we can plot the magnetic field. So I'm showing you here the bar magnet and the compass. First, we place the compass near the north pole of the bar magnet. We then draw a cross at the north pole of the compass like this. We now move the compass so the south pole of the compass is on the cross. And again we draw another cross at the north pole of the compass. We continue doing this until we've plotted a complete magnetic field line. Now we connect all the dots with a line like this. And we show the direction of the field line by using an arrow. Remember that the direction always runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. Now we repeat this starting at different points around the North Pole of the bar magnet. So this shows the magnetic field around a bar magnet. Where the lines are closer together shows where the magnetic field is strongest. And as we said before the strongest part of the field is at the poles of the magnet. Ok, we're going to finish now by looking at the Earth's magnetic field. We saw earlier that a magnetic compass contains a small bar magnet. If we hold the compass away from any magnets, then the needle always points in the north-south direction. This tells us that the Earth has its own magnetic field. And the Earth's magnetic field is due to the Earth's core. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on magnetic fields in my Vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above. 